سبحان اللہ A volcano in Ethiopia's Afar region, about 800 km from the capital, Addis Ababa, erupted on Sunday, 23rd November 2025. The volcano has erupted after 12,000 years, with the plume so tall that the volcanic ash traveled all the way to India, affecting even flights. It is now heading towards China. Please take a moment to like this video and subscribe to our channel, Down to Earth, where we regularly post content on the environment and its effects on us. The volcano called Haile Gabi sent an ash column thousands of feet into the air. On Monday evening, the ash plume traveled from Yemen, Oman and the Arabian Sea and entered India through Gujarat and Rajasthan. Around midnight, it arrived in Delhi. Volcanic ash is a cloud of tiny abrasive particulate matter that can affect flight operations by damaging the aircraft engines and reducing visibility. They also contain particles and mixed gases with water that are called VOG. Carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, hydrogen gas and sulfur dioxide are some gases that are present in VOG. Sulfur dioxide levels in VOG are present in great quantities near the site of eruption. Along with gases, PM2.5 is also present in the ash. The ash cloud prompted the aviation ministry to strictly avoid affected areas. Air India has reportedly cancelled 13 flights and other airline service providers such as Indigo, Akasa and KLM had also been affected. The Director General of the India Meteorological Department said that the affected altitude is between 8.5 to 15 km above sea level. It will temporarily affect satellite functions and flight operations but is unlikely to affect weather conditions or air quality. The Director General of India's Civil Aviation issued an advisory to suspend or delay operations to impacted airports if the condition deteriorates. The three levels of volcanic ash contamination are low, medium and high. And these levels dictate the length of a pilot's flight before significant damage is caused due to the volcanic ash. In the Haile Gabi eruption, however, the level of contamination in Indian skies is unclear. The speed of the wind carrying the volcanic ash is 100 to 150 km an hour and for it to settle down on the surface, the wind has to stop and the rain would cause it to settle down. On the surface, it won't cause any problems as it would have been watered down. The Director General of IMD Mrutunjay Mahapatra on Tuesday, November 25th said that the ash cloud is moving towards China through East and Northeast India. Thank you for watching. If you have any suggestions, do write to us by commenting on this video.